The ESP8266 by Espressive Systems is quite the amazing little chip. It can serve as a serial bridge from a wireless network to a microcontroller, act as a Wi-Fi access point and even do your bidding without any external microcontroller attached by simply using its internal 32-bit 80 MHz RISC CPU. In this video, we'll make our own little programmer that has everything needed to painlessly connect the ESP8266 and design a 3D printable case for it. At a price of about $2 shipped, it's an amazing deal for the electronic hobbyists of today. The breakout board goes under the name ESP8266-01 and features an 8-pin interface where UART and two GPIOs are broken out. The device uses 3.3 volt TTL levels and is as such incompatible with many of the devices an Arduino aficionado might have at home, like a USB to UART bridge that only supports 5 volt levels. The first time talking to it was quite the rat's nest of logic probes that connects the salvaged 3.3 volt regulator, a voltage divider for the TX pin and the ESP8266 itself together. It works but for repetitive use, it can be quite cumbersome to set up every time an ESP8266-01 needs programming. The programmer consists of a prototyping board, two switches, three 10K resistors, one for the voltage divider and two S pull-ups, a salvaged 3.3 volt regulator, some salvaged sockets, two tactile switches, and some silver-coated copper wire to hook everything up. Countless schematics on hooking up the ESP8266-01 can be found online, so I'll spare you the details here and start by making the actual circuit board. All in all, it's a bit of a tedious job, but can also be viewed as a form of soldering practice. These small prototyping boards are great, because they are two-sided and the holes are through-plated, meaning that double-layer design is a simple matter. This also means that when running jumpers on one side, making sure that traces on the other side are not shorted is critical. This is the finished board, now all we have to do is get it inside a case, which we have to design and 3D print first. For this, as always, we use Fusion 360, where the initial approach is to take a few measurements of the board and sketch out some basic features from a bottom and a top case. The programmer in its entirety consists of a bottom part where the circuit board rests, a top case with an opening for the header and two button supports for the push buttons. These are modeled as separate bodies so that exporting them to STL to be printed can be made easier. The model of the circuit board with its main dimensions was added as a separate component in order to properly orientate the mounting holes and through holes. Modeling the board at first could be a better approach for future enclosure projects. Afterwards, it's off to 3D printing. The bottom cover was printed in Prusa Silver PLA. The top from Filamentum Extra Fill White and the buttons from Filamentum Extra Fill Traffic Red. Assembly is very straightforward. The board is set into the bottom cover and fastened in place by small self-tapping screws.
Afterwards, the buttons are inserted into the top cover and the whole assembly is snapped together. The final result is a nicely encased programmer with which one can more easily interface the ESP8266 to a standard UART to USB converter. That's it for this week's video. Tune in next week. See you then.